Yes, here we are. Game number one in the best of five series between Complain and Destroy. Spawning in the bottom right corner at the five o'clock position. We find a green Terran player from Team Cascade. One bet. It is Complain. And he is facing off against the Zerg player spawning in the nine o'clock position. And it's going to be the red Zerg player, Destroy. And he's playing for the, the Clan FD, but I have no idea what that stands for. I should check it in the mi uh, in the middle uh, of the next game. But a TVZ is going to be of uh, the, the favorite matchup to watch for pretty much everyone. I really enjoyed the PvP series that we had. I'm actually a little bit sad it was a 3-0 victory for Moscow the Bear. I would have liked to see uh, all five games there, of course. But let's see what is going to go on. <laughs> Thank you, Complain, for sticking up for me. You already foresaw that. But TVZ is going to get started. Would not be surprised to see a Reaper opening for Complain, but he has not opted. To yeah, he's not going to get that refinery down. So he is going to get a Reaper out very soon to scout out his opponent's base on the other side of the map. We do see everything very standard. The Overlord will make it to Complain's base very soon to see what exactly is going on. And he will put down that hatchery first down before anything else. So before any spawning pools and he's going to be, well, he has to micro a little bit against the Reapers. But it should not be too worried about this. This opening can be, well, what we see Lilikanin do a whole lot in this map is getting two barracks in the middle of the map, one with a reactor, and after that he's just going to churn out triple uh, triple Reapers all day, every day. And if you're not expecting something like that, it can get very sour very quickly, but Destroy already going to find that that barracks on the top, on the top of that ramp off complain, even getting that extra supply depot started there. So... In case there is a drone scout, it's not going to come in. But that barracks is going to come out. Uh, that Reaper is going to come out very soon. Spawning pool is on the way. But by the time that the Reaper is going to be in the base of Destroy, there is not going to be a queen out or anything that can deal with the Reaper efficiently. So let's see also how many Reapers Complain wants to commit to. Because he is starting his second one. Behind this, we will see an expansion and also... When, once he gets a reactor on that barracks, we know that he does not want to produce more Reapers. But the first Reaper is already going to be here. The natural base fairly exposed, also because the, net, also because the Queen does, did get started a little bit later. It does not get that one drone. It did manage to turn into, a, uh, into an extractor. And one drone does fall. Nice positioning from that Reaper, but it's getting very low on health right now. One more hit from a Zergling will kill it off. And we do see a third Reaper even on the way for Complain. He really wants to get some damage done. And this is delaying the factory so much that you do need to get damage done with this. And three Reapers is going to be enough to deal with a Queen. But let's see. There are two Zerglings of Destroy that have been sent out across the map. This SEV is completely exposed. But there is another Reaper popping out right now. So let's see if he will get the focus on that SCV and if he will be able to kill it off. Yes, he will kill it off at the cost of those two Zerglings. Definitely worth it. Another SCV being sent down. That's a good delay of like 20 or like 10 to 15 seconds on that command center. The drone that was sent to take the third base will get killed off. That is not going to happen just yet. And especially because there is only a gas guys being taken right now. It is not looking all too good for Destroy. The third base, oh, he's going to go into the Extractor immediately. But the two Reapers should have enough DPS to even shoot that down. But denying that third base when Destroy wants to take it so incredibly early is already going to be pretty nice. Now, three Reapers are out. We do see that the factory was already constructed. He's going to swap out to the Reactor. So the Hellions will follow this up. But... This drone is on the is on the time clock. Yeah, he lets the extractor finish, which means that there's not going to be an expansion at that location just yet. And instead of going for zergling speed, we do see that the roach warren does get built with the spine crawler at the front, and he's going to go straight into roaches. And with a third command center on the way, complain might not have enough units back at home to defend when that push is coming. But he has started his stim pack. He should scout this out very early on. He has already seen it. 
and that third base. Yeah, he's just double checking. Did I miss something? That is not going to happen. But he should just go into the main base. He should be able to get some damage done right there. Now with the two extra Hellions here, he's going to get some extra splash damage. It's going to get harder and harder. But still, the Spine Crawler will have enough DPS output to make it extremely difficult. Oh, look at that. A little bit unfortunate for the Reaper. But using that friendly... Uh, using the attack move with the splash damage of the Hellions to kill off that Kree Tumor is definitely going to help complain just a little bit and a little bit. He's going to attempt the third base once again towards his opponent. That's always a very ballsy move, but it was not spotted by those Hellions. The Roaches are not going to be here. A drone is changing his mind, but another Hellion does get killed off. He's not producing a whole lot of Roaches, so it looks like he wants to transition out of this eventually. Still, oh, will he be able to get the drone? That would be amazing. Yeah, he does get the roast up. That third base delayed even more. And there are so many overlords scattered around the map. Destroy's vision is amazing right now. But once those marines start popping out, he's going to have a lot of trouble with that. Oh, he did get the, the overlord speed right there. That does help him quite a bit. Complain even has a marauder in the bunker back at home. So the roach, if they are going to be used offensively, they will be quite a bit less effective. But finally, the third base has been dropped down by Destroy. He has started his 1-1 one, one upgrades. His circling speed is about to be done. And that's the time when these Hellions do have to start being careful. Also, the Lair is on the way. The Baneless is going to come through. And Destroy is just setting up for the later stage of this game. But with that triple SEV production, Complain has been able to stay fairly uh, equal with the work account. 58 against 48. Not the biggest of differences at all, but... Well, just as I say, that an extra round of drones is popping out. So let's see. 1-1 one, one also on the way now. For complain a little bit behind that of Destroy. But that is pretty much what you expect in a TVZ. Because, well, by the time the 2-2 is done, com complain can go straight into 3-3. Uh, straight into three, three, and Destroy will have to wait for his, uh, for his infestation pit and his... Uh, hive to finish up before he can start it also actually from the point of view from destroy his creep spread has been looking pretty pretty strong he has so many creep tumors on the map already and going out to a fourth base uh, that can be a little bit risky because complain will start that push very soon did he already get an armory no he did not get an extremely early armory so they will remain and uh, they will remain aliens for now but the reinforcement will be streaming across the map. There are now currently five barracks already churning out those units. That's a lot of marines already. Just needs a little bit of extra money to actually start those up. But his infrastructure is already in place. So we will be able to start getting some queen kills. Trying to get some creep tumor kills too. And deny the creep spread quite a bit. Also those medevacs healing up those bio units so incredibly fast. He's really getting a lot of creep tumors here. Really denying that creep spread very nicely. There's one more active one. Get it. Will he get it? No, he's not going to get it. He needs to scan again if he wants to get it. And this is an, uh, this is an active creep tumor. So the bailings are already rolling in. Lift up into the medevax. To negate that splash damage a little bit. But still a pretty nice detonation. Also, that bailing speed is already going to be done. So destroy it in a pretty good position regarding that also the armory just finished up so 2-2 can get started for complain if he pays attention to that there we go the plus two attack at least does get started no plus two plus two for destroy just yet but he does have realist on the map already five oh that could be a huge detonation from the balance but they were a little bit too late now he can use the terrain to his advantage and of course those booster packs already also helping out quite a bit and with, oh, he should unload that medevac very soon. Reinforcements do manage to push this back once again. And now the tug of war is going to get started. Complain is very good in a situation like this. He can just stay at the edge of the creep. Never really attacking on the creep. But just spreading destroy very thin. Forcing the units to be at home. Destroy is going to try and go for the harassment at the natural base. But he is down 30 supply. And a lot of that is in army. The fourth base, if it does get spotted will get taken out in no time at the natural base only now missile turrets will get placed down and that's a little bit too late the mutilus will be able to get quite a few uh, units killed here 
but there are Marines in position. They are reinforcing, so he would, should be able to get it done. But at the same time, huge engagement at the front. Bailey is getting huge detonations right there, but is it going to be enough? There's still a few Marines and a Marauder alive. The Marauder being healed up quite significantly. Oh, excuse me there. Eight SCVs killed for two. The fourth base is under fire. More Zerglings are going to come out, but whenever Complain takes a bad fight, he can just lift up from here. But the Mutilus will be sent back. Missile turrets being started everywhere. Oh, this is not enough units. He needs to burrow those Widow Mines very fast at the front. Not doing so, but the Mutilus do not trust it anymore. They have to get out of there. But the fourth base did fall for destroy, and that is going to be pretty painful. He's restarting it immediately. But the Mutilus do miss those medevacs. It could have been a huge pickoff for destroy, killing off those medevacs. Lowers the retention of, those, of the Terran unit, and that is one of the most powerful things that you can have in this game, because it pretty much translates to cost efficient, cost effectiveness. And now, with the rest of the bio units that were kept at home against those Mutilus. He will be able to push his back. That was a huge influx of units. But how, six bailings are on the way. How many does he already have on the on, on the map? He only has 12 Zerglings. There are, there's hardly any army for destroy out right now. The army of complaint is just looking so much stronger. The Mulis are fighting the Bios directly. That is not the position you want to be in. And with the high Mulis count, the very low Zergling and Bailing count, I'm not quite sure if Destroy is going to be able to hold on against this. He's stepping off of the creep. Good point for Destroy to pull back here. Because off of the creep, Destroy is not going to be able to trade cost efficiently at all. At the same time, there's a drop going on inside the main base. Pulling the army of Destroy out of position quite a bit. The fourth base, well, it's not going to finish at all. Well, he does let it finish, but it will get killed off immediately. The moment when Destroy really wants to defend that base. But it's going to go down. The army units of complain a little bit stuck here. But what is here really for the army of Destroy? He has a few bailings. The Muta flock is just so incredibly large, 22 Mutalisk, but he does not really have the supporting bailings to deal with this efficiently. Now also a few units are being kept back in the base, being scared of another drop that might go down. The complaint is just pushing at the front. 2-2 two, two is done, plus 3 is on the way. He is going to move in. The spread for complaint being pretty decent. There, it just looks like there are not enough bailings really, and there's still there are so many marines left. Looking at the upgrades, we do see plus two, plus one on these on the zerglings currently, and on the bailings of course. But it just looks like it is not going to be enough. And with this push, the drones even being pulled off the line, not getting enough damage done. The marines fighting the mules directly, exactly how the plane wants it. Even a Thor moving in, getting the extra shots done. 16 drones did fall and it looks like complaint is going to overwhelm destroy uh, overwhelm destroy here there's going to be the gg and complaint takes game number one and i really do miss the victory screen right now but we do, don't have anything other than the replays but complaint takes game number one in a very nice fashion